So just how much does a free greenhouse like this cost? Well, I wouldn't have been able to build this greenhouse had I not spent months, maybe even more than a year, saving material. I would go onto Craigslist and Facebook and offer up and FreeCycle and all those different websites on a daily basis, looking for the various materials that I needed for that phase of the greenhouse project that I was working on. And so really, it, it's, it's a project that, if you were to physically weigh the greenhouse on a scale, probably 90 or 95% of that weight would have been free materials. Uh, that said, I did spend money and I will give uh, the number at the end of this video as to how much a free greenhouse costs. One of the last big projects that I have is siding the north side of the greenhouse. And I'm siding it with shingles made from pallet wood. Now, why? Well, the same reason anybody else does it, and that is because it's free. Where I live in the Northeast of the United States, uh, pallets are a pretty easily available resource. Pallet wood wasn't the only free resource that I used when I built my greenhouse. Uh, I had a friend that gave me uh, a lot, actually a lot of friends that work in construction that gave me a lot of resources that were amazing. Plywood, the structural timber a friend gave to me and let me use his mill uh, to mill it up. I stored up material for quite a while, for a, a year or two, to be able to build this. I got the windows off of uh, online, the free cycle type of a website. The door, I got, I got the screen door. Uh, I think I paid $5 for the screen door. As well as all the wood that I used uh, to build the surface on the raised bed. Uh, all of that wood was from my previous greenhouse. And when I tore it down, I was very careful to make sure that I didn't damage it too much so that I could use it again. So I did use pallet wood to make the roof shingles. Now the actual cap piece I paid money for because it was going to be just too hard to find free wood that would be 16 feet long and in good shape to use as that cap piece on the roof. Now, as for the roof panels themselves, I decided to go with polycarbonate uh, clear panels that I purchased from a greenhouse supply company, along with the H and J channels that you use to screw it down. I had entertained the idea of, of using something from, for free online, like maybe shower doors or something like that, but I could never really find enough or, or you know, work out how exactly I would put it on the roof and it wouldn't leak. And so ultimately that's why I went with the polycarbonate. Gabby and baskets are one of the things that I purchased in the process of making this greenhouse. And the reason is there wasn't a really trustworthy kind of DIY method, at least for me, that I would make that I could hold all of the rock together for the, the raised bed. So I bit the bullet and, and bought Gabby and baskets. These baskets that you see here were left over from the project and so I ended up making a raised bed out in front of the greenhouse. On the inside of the greenhouse, uh, the main things that I purchased were the fans and the control systems. So there's an inline fan that forces the hot air down under uh, the bed into the GAT system. And uh, then there's also an attic fan when the greenhouse gets too hot uh, that kicks on. And that's balanced out by a fresh air intake that also has a, a thermostatic controller. I also bought the insulation that uh, insulates the top of the greenhouse as well as the roof so that the greenhouse stays nice and warm during the winter. Now obviously this isn't a free greenhouse, but it wouldn't have been possible for me to build this greenhouse without all of the free materials that I was able to source. The, the things like uh, hardware, nails, sealant, uh, you know, it's kind of a long list of things where it's odds and ends that it adds up and it, it, it can be a big part of the expense of building something like this. So there you have it. That's pretty much the list of the materials 
that I either got for free or that I purchased to build the greenhouse. I should also add that I heavily insulated the ground around the raised bed, as well as I insulated the ground air heat transfer system in the ground. Otherwise, it, it won't work if you don't insulate it. You know, that was a pretty decent expense of getting all of that foam insulation board. But that was, I mean, that's basically the, the general idea. So what is the actual dollar amount to how much I spent on building this greenhouse? Well, the dollar amount is it somewhere around $2,500 to $3,000, give or take. But what it really cost was my time and my energy because I tried to clock in at least a few hours every single day for many months, um, probably three quarters of a year uh, to make sure that I could get this project ready for this growing season. And so that actually, I think, probably cost more. Like if I was getting paid uh, an hourly amount, it probably would have been way more than how much I actually physically spent for the greenhouse. But anyway, so there you have it. That's how much a free greenhouse costs. If you like this video, you might like these. <laughs>